Welcome to Patriarch Cave State Park. My name is Jen Rainey and I'm the AmeriCorps volunteer here. Um, so what we're going to talk about just briefly is some of the plants that were used from Paleo Indian days to some of the historic tribes that we think about today, such as the Crow and the Blackfeet. Um, so some of the plants we have here include the box elder. So the box elder burls were cut off and used as a kind of bowl. Um, and the branches of the box elder were also used to create arrow shafts. It's a little bit difficult to find hardwood trees within the prairie, and this was a very good tree because the wood lasts a long time when burned. Um, and actually the wood uh, made into charcoal after burning was used for a pigment that would create pictographs. Um, and we also have choke cherry, which is a kind of shrub, and the berries on the choke cherry are actually edible in the late fall. Um, and the bark of the choke cherry would be used for, to, to treat fevers, colds, and headaches. Um, another of our more famous plant is the white sage. Um, this is a more commonly known plant, and it was actually used, uh, burned as a kind of incense, and the seeds were, could be crushed into a kind of flower. And the last plant that we'll talk about is Rocky Mountain juniper. And this is a kind of juniper. Um, the berries are edible, and they would be used to create um, a kind of flavoring for meat. And also on the juniper, the uh, wood was burned as a kind of incense. Because of the long lasting nature of cedar and juniper, they are often associated with sacred or medicinal purposes.